Driver with Local 12's Megan Mongillo. She is in the Breaking News Center with more on Hamilton County's response to the coronavirus. Megan. Well, Liz, I can tell you we are still in the upswing of this virus. Today we learned that in Hamilton County there have been 12 more people who tested positive for COVID-19. At a daily briefing just a short time ago, County Commissioner Denise Driehaus said in Hamilton County there are 38 total cases. Three people are in the hospital. No one has died. She also says the county expects a huge drop in sales tax, hotel tax, and parking revenue. She'll be in a call this afternoon to see what that federal stimulus package means for Hamilton County. We also heard that personal protective gear is in high demand and in short supply here. The EMA is working to bring it to Hamilton County. They will accept donations, but not the hand-sewn masks. I'm not saying that they couldn't be some type of barrier. But the kind of personal protective equipment we're looking at is, is principally for the healthcare environment as well as uh, first responders. So, um, uh, no, personally, I would not use them. Also new this morning, Cincinnati Metro says they are moving to a Saturday schedule due to a lack of ridership. Sorta had a special meeting this morning, and it was also decided that starting Sunday, May, I'm sorry, March 29th, so Sunday, March 29th, Metro will suspend fare collection so you can ride for free starting on that date. In the Breaking News Center, I'm Megan Mangello. Well, a lot of changes. Thank you, Megan.